Number one on the Doma Sports Talk, you know, song chart. It's going to have to be you mad at him, right? So let's play it. Boom, boom, you mad at him. You mad at him. Boom, boom, you mad at him. You mad at him. Boom, boom, get mad at him. Get mad at him. Boom, boom, get mad at him. Short version. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. With some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now let's move up to the heavyweights. And everything's going down on December the 1st. Now I ain't going to mention the fight from tomorrow yet. Because, you know, Jarrell Miller's fighting Bob Blue Rock do. Or what did my man's name, right? And, um, you know, they both undefeated. I ain't going to give it the love it like that. Right? I'm going, I ain't going to give it love because of the simple fact, you know, Jarrell Miller could have fought on December the 1st. December the 1st. And he could have fought this guy, Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz. The old guy. The guy that no one mentions ever. Right? And because they don't, you know, you know why they don't mention him? It's because they know that he will respond. Right? They saw it with Dillian White. Dillian White tried to act like, oh, he didn't fight me in July sometime. And then, right, so what happens? Louis Real King Kong Ortiz said, hey, dude, you want to fight Deontay Wilder, right? Deontay Wilder said, you got to fight me to get to him. Listen, I need a date for December the 1st. What's up? You want to show up? Dillian White says, no. Dillian White says, well, I'm fighting on the 22nd. Thinking that Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz won't do that. But Louis Ortiz took him a day to, to talk to his team, tell him, look, guys, I'm sorry, but I need to go to England on December the 22nd and handle this Dillian White business. Got with Dillian White, ain't heard nothing no more. Right? They don't want to get, get with him. Dillian White's trying to fight Chizura with eight losses. Which is, or whatever. In England, it's going to be a good fight. They're going to have it on pay-per-view. Whatever. Dillian White got a problem with him, too. But I'm just saying, he could have fought Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz, and that would have been the biggest win in the, of his career. Anybody's, to be honest with you, any heavyweight out there right now that's fighting, all of them, there's, would be the biggest fight in their career. Except if your name is Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder right now. And if you, Joshua fought him, it would be his second biggest because they're going to always put Klitschko as his first biggest fight. Right? Everybody knows. Except those three. Everybody else, fight Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz. And no one, absolutely no one will do it. And one of, one of the, the top three ain't doing it either. Brings me to what Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz has said recently, and I thought it was awesome. I had things to do, but I had to mention this to you. The, it will, the article will be in the description box. Let me paraphrase. Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz says Deontay Wilder knocks out Joshua in three rounds. Period. He says, period, in three rounds. He says he's more aggressive, he's too quick, and he's going to hit Joshua, and he's going to get rid of him in three rounds. He says Deontay Wilder is the superior fighter and he has the better chin, right? Which I, I thought too because Deontay Wilder's chin is underestimated. He gets hurt and y'all see what happens. Now, Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz make this clear to anybody now who's going to start disparaging him because that's the only thing you guys are going to do. You're going to disparage them. I figured if you were to try to disparage Lennox Lewis, who is boxing royalty, then you will have no problem disparaging Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz. You're scared of him, but you would do it anyway. Listen. He says the chin too, right? He's got a better chin. He says that uh, even Vladimir Klitschko had him down on his butt, but he said a younger Klitschko would have got rid of him. And he said Deontay Wilder would have definitely got rid of him. He's a superior fighter. And he says point blank, period. He gets him up out of there, right? So that will be in the description box. Y'all check it out. That's somebody that you need to get mad at him. Get mad at him. Now, Eddie Hearn, remember... Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz, he is not no Deontay Wilder fanboy. Let me repeat that. This is not a fanboy. This is somebody who wants another fight with Deontay Wilder. Right? But he considers Deontay Wilder the best. Right? The most aggressive. And he says he's got a wild, crazy style. But it just works. Which, that's why I think, well, I don't know why people keep talking about how he fights. It's the results. It's like I told you guys, I gave you a basketball analogy before. You know, somebody shooting 90% from the free throw line, but he's shooting them underhand. Man, that's an ugly old shot. Talking about Rick Barry back in the day. That's an ugly old underhand shot. Man, men don't shoot underhand. What are you, a kid? Whatever, I'm shooting 90%. Somebody steps a foot away from the, or two feet away from the foul line, or shoots a jump shot from the foul line. If they make a 90%, do you care? 
No, you don't. Right? You don't. And then other sports, the same thing. It doesn't matter what your batting stance is. As long as you're hitting the baseball, no matter how you batting stance, for somebody have the front foot in the, in the front, some have it parallel, some have it in the back. Who cares? You understand? It's about getting the job done. So I can't understand how people keep talking about luck and he, you know, what he can't fight, he's windmilling, whatever it is, you better start a windmilling school if it's, if it's, if it's working because that's what it's doing. Now, we got a fight coming up December the 1st. Let's see what happens there. It ain't like he's just automatically be Tyson Fury. But I must say this. Uh, 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 Real King Kong Ortiz, he says also about Tyson Fury. He says, good fight at all, but he does not see how he's going to be able to stand up to the power of your boy, Deontay Wilder. And I'm saying this. Deontay Wilder's boxing IQ and ring gentlemanship is underrated. People act like they didn't see these fights where his hand was broke. I'm giving you guys hints all over the place. You know, you went in a fight with your right hand, the one that you think that he only has, is broke early in two fights against formidable opponents, Bermain Severn and Chris Ariola. Formidable opponents that some people can't beat with two hands. And he fights them with one hand and jabs them into submission, basically. Using his right hand just barely because it's broke, for crying out loud. People that don't see that don't want to see that. And that's why I don't got time to be answering people in comment sections and stuff. Somebody sent me a, you know, some stuff talking about uh, he going to fight. Joshua going to fight Lewis, the real King Kong Ortiz in, uh, in, uh, on April the 13th. And I got to go old school on somebody like that is, man, <laughs> and, and, and you got woke up and you woke up. We used to say that back in the day and you woke up. Because you're obviously dreaming. If he's going to fight Ortiz, that's all he did. You know, the boxing world would get totally in a frenzy if Joshua said, you know what? I'm going to get Deontay Wilder. I'm going to get Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz on the 13th. Let's hear him say that. Because, see, these guys that are talking this smack to Joshua are right there for the pickings. Easy to fight guys. You can fight Deontay Wilder. You know it. You can fight Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz. You know it. But like I said earlier in this video is this. You better not say Ortiz's name because he will be there. It's like the Candyman. Don't say it th three times. But Ortiz, you ain't got to say three times. You say, Louis, the real King Kong Ortiz, I want to fight you. And by the time that sentence is over, similar to what you do with Errol Spence, he will be there already. And that's why they don't answer to him. Because you, let's remember all you guys, Anthony Joshua fans out there, he was under Eddie Hearn. Right? Eddie Hearn promised him Anthony Joshua. Then he goes uh, to Monaco, fights um, your boy who everybody thinks is a bum. He, uh, Malik Scott. Malik Scott goes the distance with him, running away from him the whole fight. But he goes the distance with him. Then he fights some uh, David Allen. Right? Just looks okay. That should have been Joshua. Should say, oh, let me beat this old man right then. Didn't get it. Then he gets banned from the WBA rankings where he was number one and Josh was mandatory. Guys, you don't see that? What happened there? And then he leaves Eddie Hearn because his promise wasn't fulfilled. Correct? So what does he tell the world? But in Spanish he says, Anthony Joshua is wrapped in cotton. He's not fighting anyone that his promoter thinks is a 50-50 fight or that he could possibly lose. And he hasn't been wrong to date. Neither has Doma. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all. And read the article in the description box.